Hi, I'm Kelsey Mays for Cars.com, and we're at the Chicago Auto Show checking out two new Volkswagen Beetles, the GSR Coupe and the R-Line Convertible. The GSR reminisces a Volkswagen Beetle Special Edition from the 1970s, while the R-Line Convertible now represents the fifth Volkswagen to offer this sporty appearance package. Let's take a closer look at both of them. The GSR gets stuff like an enormous rear spoiler here. There's also 19-inch wheels. You move around to the front. Uh, Xenon headlights with LED daytime running lights that instead of the more modern light pipes still employ this kind of dotted technique. I'm not wild about that. Um, paint colors include yellow and then there's a uh, jet black that kind of runs down the center of the car along the roof and all the way down the trunk. I'm guessing this is going to be popular in the Pittsburgh market and if you hate the Steelers you should get another Beetle. Now, Volkswagen says it only plans to build about 3,500 Beetle GSRs globally for sales. Changes inside include black seats with yellow stitching. There's also yellow along little sections of the dashboard, along the steering wheel, along the shift knob. Underneath the hood, the GSR gets a 2-liter turbo 4-cylinder good for 210 horsepower. That's 10 horsepower more than the regular Beetle Turbo, but those changes are going to carry over into future Beetle Turbos, so don't get too excited. Plus, come on, it's 10 horsepower. As for the convertible R-Line, it carries over many changes from the Coupe R-Line, things like 19-inch alloy wheels, uh, the requisite badging, plus redesigned, reshaped front bumpers with different openings. Inside there's a flat bottom steering wheel, there's also stainless steel scuff plates and aluminum pedals. Now Volkswagen expects to sell more than half of those 3,500 Beetles that it builds worldwide in the United States. That means there will be still a pretty limited production run here. There will probably be more R-Line convertibles available. Volkswagen hasn't set a production limit on that yet. Stay tuned for more information on Cars.com. Both of these cars go on sale later this year.